Hi everyone, this is Aaron. Today is Thursday, November 9th, 2017. I am recording from my car and you are listening to the Sound Words Podcast. This week I'm talking about five lessons learned from leading music on Sunday when it was just me and Philip. Today I will be talking about capos. Now this is going to get a little bit technical, maybe a little bit nerdy, but capos are a tool that guitarists use to change the key that they're playing in. Now there are certain chords and certain key signatures that sound good on the guitar. These would be the key signatures of G and E, uh, D, A, etc. But there are other keys that are harder or more difficult to play. These would include keys such as F, keys such as B flat, the key of B. Um, these are more difficult because the chords, you would have to bar them. A capo makes this much easier. Now, when I'm leading worship music, I could just play every single song in an easier key. But there are a couple of reasons why I like to change it up a bit. First is because you don't want all your songs to be in the same key. You want to vary it up. Uh, the, the same key sounds a bit monotonous, and for the congregation, it, it just makes all the sounds kind of blend together. And sometimes that's a good thing, but musically, uh, it kind of gets a little bit dull on the ears. Second is that sometimes you want to find the right range or the right pitch or the right uh, area where your vocals can feel comfortable singing. Sometimes a song might be too low. Oftentimes, a recorded song is too high for the congregation to sing. So by using a capo, you can find the right key that you want to sing the song in. In all honesty, one of the main reasons why I wanted us to use capos on Sunday was because it helps to thicken the sound. It helps to make the sound more full. Philip can be playing a chord, and when I use a capo, I can play the same chord in a different way, and it makes the sound much bigger than what it would be if we were just playing the same exact thing. So it doubles up the sound, but it also varies the sound, and it's pleasing to the ears. So anytime you have two acoustic guitar players, uh, or even two electric guitar players, I would recommend one person using a capo, another person just playing the regular chords, and this helps you to get deep sounds as well as higher pitches uh, from the entire spectrum of guitar sounds. Thanks for listening to the Sound Words podcast. Yesterday, I released a blog post called Five Reasons Why It Was Just Me and Philip on Sunday. So I'm kind of exhausting this topic of worship leading from Sunday, but go ahead and check that out. I'll put the link in the show notes. I decided to post that blog article on my personal Facebook page, and it picked up some traction uh, for everybody who liked that thank you, and for everyone who then went on to my Music Goon Facebook page, thank you for giving that a like. I really appreciate it. So find me online. Let me know if you're listening. My blog is musicgoon.com. My Facebook page is facebook.com slash musicgoon, and my Twitter is at Music Goon. Have a great Thursday. I'll see you tomorrow.